All right, so I'm just going to quickly give you a rundown of what we're looking at here. Uh, this is just a, a, a reservoir uh, with an outlet uh, going through to a pump, and then uh, you've got a gauge uh, before the solenoid, and then you have another gauge before the system pressure monitor and the nozzle. And this is a bypass for uh, allowing for leaks or for faults that could occur. All right, and this will be the level sender for level alarms and uh, the controllers here, uh, the back of the, the, the boxes over there. All right, so, and then this over here is uh, voltage input uh, with the status output uh, connected up to an LED, so it will flash when normal operation. And then this is a boost gauge, and then I have a syringe, uh, so I can inject positive pressure. Uh, can get about a two bar, um, 30 PSI. So that's this uh, sort of introductory tutorial. Okay, so to turn on the system, uh, you would obviously turn on the ignition or you'll have a button that'll uh, switch it on or a, a rocker switch. Uh, so in this case, it'll be uh, this button over here. When we turn it on, the system will start getting ready. So it'll be the red and the green LED that'll be on. Uh, the system itself will be generating about uh, seven bar. Um, and you'll see that we're not injecting uh, voltage and we're not injecting boost. It's currently set on boost mode. Um, so as I apply uh, positive pressure, um, what will happen is the system itself, once it gets to 0 0.4, uh, 0.4 bar, uh, then it will start pre-pressurizing. And uh, when we get to 0 0.8 bar, which is what it's currently set at, uh, then it will uh, activate. And then as we ramp up um, in boost, uh, it will ramp up on injection. Um, so start small uh, in terms of outputs, and then it ramps up. And then obviously once it gets to 1.2 bar, which is where it's set to, then it will be flat out there. So I'm using one hand to inject and it's quite a bit of force that you have to apply. All right, so if I wanted to switch between uh, boost input and voltage, um, I'd turn off the key or turn off the button. I'd then press the button down on the controller's face. Uh, then I'd press the button in, or turn on the ignition, should I say. Then what you'll have is all three lights burning uh, sorry, it's a bit bright. Uh, the LEDs on this display is uh, uh, they're sort of very bright. Okay, so the when it's all three lights on like that, that means that it's in menu. Uh, so if you press it once, that's menu one. Is it the, the, the function on or off or the mode on or off? Uh, press it again, uh, then it's menu two, mode on or off. So that'll be a status LED. And then if you press it again, then it'll be a double flash on, on top and bottom, uh, red and green. Uh, uh, boost mode or uh, voltage mode. So if you press it down for two seconds and echo, the, the blue light will turn off. That means it's now in voltage mode. Okay, so now when I turn off the key, all right, this will be a problem because the controller itself now is recognizing inputs uh, from boost. So when we turn on the key, uh, what we need to do then is save the new settings. So what we'll do then is we'll press the button down for about five seconds or so, and when it scrolls up and down like that, that means it saved the settings, and then we can start injecting. Uh, I'm gonna try my best to ramp up this as best as possible. So there we have 0.7 of a volt, and when we get to, to around about there, okay, it's very close. Okay, so it's about, and when we get to around about there okay it's very close okay so it's about one and two volts okay I think my power supply is freaking it out um, I have also taken this uh, display bench and I've taken it from uh, another spot in the shop and I've connected up to another power supply just to do this demo but it's about two, two volts it'll start at and then you can see that there's obviously an AC ripple that's coming through, so it's not happy about that. And then it'll get to about, okay, in this case, on these settings, it's about two and a half volts, then it'll start injecting fully. Okay, so what I wanted to show that even if I do um, supply voltage in, or whatever it maybe is, I can put max voltage in, the system will be delivering at maximum pressure. And if I uh, switch the key off and I press the button in, and turn the key back on again and let go, then you can still get into the menu mode and you can still cycle through the different um, uh, 
uh, menus to or modes to be able to enable them. So if I go back to boost mode, if I hold that button down for two seconds and then it puts on the blue lights, then I can cycle the power again and uh, it'll be in boost mode. I'll have to then save the settings again uh, just so that it understands what it's looking at. And then obviously back to normal. 0.8 bar um, and flat out at 1.2 bar. 